Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm gonna talk to you today about how Namibia has suspended its Sputnik, Sputnik 5 vaccine. That is a vaccine that's developed by Russia, and there are safety concerns that South Africa um, brought up uh, in regards to HIV-positive patients, that it's not safe for HIV-positive patients, and I firmly believe that the South African government is right on this, and the Namibian government was right to follow suit. Now, the Namibian government has said that people who have already received their first dosage of the Sputnik V vaccine can get their second dosage. But um, before they, the Namibian government suspended the Sputnik V COVID-19 vaccine, which the World Health Organization doesn't like or approve, um, number one, Namibia already has plenty of Pfizer vaccines, Sinopharm vaccines, Johnson & Johnson, I believe Moderna as well. But on top of that, they have been given 30,000 Sputnik V vaccines by the Serbian government because Serbia and Russia have a very, very good relationship. But the Namibian government has only administered slightly over 100 um, Sputnik V doses. Both Namibia and South Africa have very, very high HIV uh, slash AIDS rates. So, um... The Sputnik V, there have been concerns that have been rose up over uh, it being safe to administer to uh, HIV-positive patients, and particularly HIV-positive males. And props to Yahoo for reporting on this. Yahoo News reported on this. And I don't trust anything that's hard, that's made, honestly, by the Putin government. That's not somebody that I trust, and they have been um, complicit in extrajudicial killings and limiting people's civil liberties and invading other sovereign countries. So I don't trust anything that's made by the Putin government, to be honest with you. Um, and Putin's still in power beyond uh, the terms he should have served, and then he is um, ruling like an autocrat. So anyways, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless and Bye-bye.